Blessings. Welcome. Have a seat. Would you like a cup of coffee or perhaps some tea? I have water. Cold, if you wish. Are you hungry? Would you like to snack on something? Anything you wish, my friends, is yours. Please relax. Make yourself at home. I am Robert. It is my pleasure to read to you from the transcripts of LL Research. Here I have for you, my brothers and sisters, a message from Hatan. Greetings, my friends. I am Hatan. I greet you in the love and the light of our infinite Creator. We are privileged to be speaking with you, and we will be conditioning you if you wish. It has been extremely difficult to make this contact, for this instrument is not very relaxed. However, we will attempt to speak only very briefly. My friends, we would like to say a few words about the nature of the physical illusion. At the time at which each of you incarnated, my friends, each of you was aware that certain lessons hereunto unlearned were to be the goals for achievement of this incarnation. If it seems to you, my friends, that your entire incarnation within this illusion has been a series of difficulties of one particular type, then you are almost certainly aware in some manner of one of your lessons. As you can see, these lessons are not to be avoided. They are to be learned. Further, we must point out to you that when a confrontation in such a lesson has been achieved, that which separates you from understanding it is most often your own thinking. Your conscious thinking processes are quite capable of being self-destructive in the sense that they may aid you to avoid the lesson that you wish, in reality, to learn. Therefore, my friends, as you approach a lesson, we suggest that if it is possible to achieve a temporary abeyance of the conscious analytical processes, then, my friends, you may return to the problem with a much clearer mentality, ready to learn what you came to this experience to learn, rather than only to avoid what you came to learn. We know how difficult it is to achieve the meditative state at all times, for we have been where you are now, and we are aware of that particular type of illusion that you call the physical. We urge you, therefore, to depend on meditation of a formal kind, then to attempt a semi-meditative state. And by this, my friends, to simply achieve a state of attention. Also, so that your destructive impulses are not free to completely cog your mind and keep you from learning the lessons you came to learn. Now I'm speaking of one's attitudes towards what you experience in the physical illusion. 
I find your reactions to what you have experienced in your illusion are reactions based upon an unbound faith. This is normal upon your planet. The reactions to experience in almost every case are based upon an intellectual understanding of your present illusion. This understanding is totally false. It is necessary to construct a totally new base for understanding. This new base should be one which communicates with truth. It is only possible to construct this through meditation. We observe the people upon your planet. We observe their conditions and their reactions to experience. Their reactions are totally different from ours or from any people who are aware of the nature of the illusion they are experiencing. It is a difficult problem for the people who have not become enlightened as to the true nature of their existence to break out of the responses that they have assimilated during their present experience. However, this not only should be done, it must be done if one is to make full use of the experience. And this can only be done, as far as we are aware, through the process of meditation. This process will provide you with answers to all of your questions. You have, at this time, many questions. But, my friends, even these questions will lose their meaning as you avail yourself to truth through meditation. For you will find that the answers which you sought are no longer meaningful. You will construct an entirely new system of thinking and entirely new awareness and entirely new understanding. This is necessary if true progress is to be made. Do not react to conditions within the illusion that you experience simply because this reaction is assumed to be valid. Avail yourself to truth through meditation, and then you will understand each and every experience that is brought to you. If you wish to hear, please let me tell you this. The master teacher known to you as Jesus was able through meditation to become aware of truth. His reactions to experience were of such a nature to cause much concern among those who were aware of his reactions. They did not understand his reactions to the illusion for his reactions were based upon his understanding of truth. This understanding allowed him to act directly as an emissary of this creation, acting in accord with the laws of his creator. He was able to fulfill the desires with many he came in contact. His reaction to this experience is but 
partially known to the peoples of your world at present, but this will serve as an example. His reaction was one of love. It was a reaction of love that was in no regard whatsoever to the nature of the experience. This love was not necessarily expressed in the way that it is expressed by the people in your particular illusion, for it is not understood. For this reason, this man, Jesus, was hated by many and loved by many, many more. His expression of love was very pure in nature. It was not in the same sense as the emotional love that your peoples express in an attempt to indicate their conception of love. It was a simple demonstration of total concern for the fulfillment of the desire of his fellow man. His awareness of this desire was greater than the awareness of those whom he served. For this reason, they did not understand his expression of love. This man attempted to fulfill their real desires. The people whom he attempted to serve were unable, for the most part, to understand that he was serving their real desires. These desires, my friends, were simply to grow in a spiritual sense. It was not possible for this man to, to provide fulfillment of this desire for spiritual growth without apparently seeming to provide that which those whom he served did not actually desire. For this reason, that there was little understanding of his service by any but those whom were directly aided in a physical way. He considered the spiritual growth of an individual of much greater importance than one's physical well-being, which is a very correct analogy. For this reason, his actions at times seemed in divergence with the love and understanding that he brought to those whom he served. Meditation erases these false illusions under which the peoples of this planet are forced by their own thinking to act in such unproductive ways. Spend time in meditation and become aware of reality. There are but a few simple concepts that are necessary to understand. These can be understood quite simply in meditation. We have spoken many times through instruments such as this one about these simple concepts. The eradication of the personal ego and the desire for true service. This, my friends, if thoroughly understood and practitioned, will result in immediate dissolution of the illusion under which you serve. And then you may serve directly in the light of your Creator. For this is... For this is the Creator's service. This is our service. 
And this is your service. This is the original thought. This is the original creation. Each part serving all of the other parts. Asking nothing and expecting nothing and therefore receiving everything. It has been said in many ways by many of the masters who have lived within your illusion and have understood, and yet it is so very difficult for a man on earth to understand, very difficult for him to understand. My friends, as long as one does not avail oneself to the true understanding of this through this process of meditation, my friends, the words which you now hear become meaningful and you no longer will question, for this meaning is truth and it is for you. And you then are aware of the reality, the beauty, and the love that has been yours throughout all of time. Open your minds and your hearts to this awareness. Do it through meditation. This is the only way that we know that this may be accomplished. When you have become aware of this simple concept, you will have no more questions. You will not wonder as to your accomplishment of this awareness because this awareness will be self-evident. You will no longer question the motives of your fellow man. You will no longer fear the actions of your fellow man. You will simply project the love of your Creator for all of the Creator's parts. For you will be with all of these parts and you will be aware of your unity with all of the parts of the creation. You will not be understood, my friends, but it will make no difference, for you will understand. You will not be loved, my friends. But this will make no difference, for you will love. You will feel the vibrations. They will merge with the creation. Your spirit will sense in harmony with all that you experience. Trust me, my brethren, this is true. I am Hatan. I will leave this instrument at this time. It has been a great privilege to convey to you the understanding that is there for you to accept. You seek it, my friends. We instruct. We instruct a simple method of acceptance. Meditate, my friends, in the love and in the light of our one infinite creator. Be in peace. Adonai Vasu.